Also, I love how, like, as per u- usual, it almost looks like each of us has our own, like, color thing going on. <laughs> My room's very yellow. Card's got kind of like a gray hue going on. Squeaky, you've got kind of this, like, dark, off red, black going on. And I'm pretty white. Like, you super are, fucking white. white. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Gamer Culture Show, episode 42. Gamer Culture is the drive, passion, and dedication to all things in gaming by the Grand Geek Gathering. The ever-changing world of gamer culture involves communities of all types, the evolving industry that surrounds us, and the people who use it for the betterment of all. Today, we are joined once again by the Acast. How did we do this two weeks in a row? I have no... 42? All right. <laughs> today we are talking about absolutely nothing in particular today we're just kind of chatting the only question i was really going to ask was what's everybody playing uh i'm playing yeah i'm playing uh i'm playing hellblade right now hellblade senua's sacrifice uh it's a game by ninja theory that came out last week um i was actually refreshing the steam page because it kept being like you know three more hours two more hours one more hour less than an hour my doll, let me play your game. <laughs> there will be. Probably. <laughs> there will be. Um, but uh, it's it's an interesting game. So you you, you play as Senua, who is a Norse warrior woman, who is based on the story that you're kind of fed at the beginning of the game. Your plan is to descend into Helheim to reclaim the soul of your lost lover. So very early on, I'm like, so this is the Dante's Inferno game. Yeah. Uh, Basically. Here's the thing. Um, To put it politic... Uh, Yes, yes, exactly. It's all Norse mythology. It's all really... It's all kind of dark and gritty. Uh, As you're like, literally, you're coming up to this island rowing in on your boat um with what i'm certain is a head wrapped around like attached to your uh your belt it's wrapped up but i'm like 99 percent sure it's a head probably the head of your lover um and there's like bodies like staked into the ground or hanging from ceilings and things um the thing is and the politically correct answer is that she is she has a mental health issue she is uh to not not put it politically correct she's insane uh she hears voices she hears vo- voices um i think if you're gonna say card you've you've studied psychology i think she's i believe it counts as schizophrenic uh she hears voices and she hallucinates One of them, yes, and I can't tell if it's just another hallucination or if it's actually a spirit following her. It's DID, right? Yeah, I believe she's schizophrenic, because but except except for that one voice, and as the game goes on, we might learn that there are other vo- like uh, identities associated with the voices but for now and in fact Senua herself has spoken very very sparingly there is a voice uh like a narrator um who's, who's like kind of the loudest of the vo- voices and speaks most often which i think is supposed to be kind of her voice um yet still not her as well um but yeah so she's schizophrenic she hears voices the voices themselves uh, they're very different. Some of them offer advice. Some mock her. Uh, like I said, there's the one that's like a spirit of someone she knew who's kind of like a guide. Um, the voices are really handy in the middle of a fight because monsters can spawn behind you. And because of the camera, um, 
it's very difficult to see sometimes. So one of the voices you'll hear will like suddenly scream out, she needs to move. And you're like, oh, fuck, there's something behind me. Um, yeah. Oh, it's great. There's one time where she like turns directly at the camera and one of the vo- voices are like, she can hear us. She heard that. Is she going to ignore? I'm just like the whole video. I'm like, is this an ASMR video? Because it's just like whispering voice. The cool thing <laughs> is that it's binaural, so it's either it's not just like in your head. It's like left ear, right ear, far away, close up. Um, yeah. The other thing about the game, and probably the most intense mechanic of the game, um, is your character is cursed. Senna is cursed. You enter a. So you, you get into a fight at the very beginning of the game, and it's a light tutorial because you'll hear me rage in the second video that I hate games where they don't tell you anything and you have to figure the game out. There's no actual tutorial. I get it. Old school games were hard. I understand. But when you have a game that has this mechanic I'll get to in a second, you need to tell me how to fight. You need to tell me how to fight. The, fight, the, the mechanics or the, the combat in the game is already extremely unforgiving. There's light attack, heavy attack, dodge, and, and block. But the enemies are very quick, and you can get ganged up on really easy. That You need to tell me how to do this shit. I don't care if I've got a disembodied voice tell me if there's someone that, uh, behind me. Because when you die in this game, you have a curse mark on your arm. And as you die, that black mark travels up your arm, and it says it'll eventually get to your head. When it gets to your head, you die and the game erases your progress. Oh. So if you die too many times, I've basically decided I'm going to play until the game deletes my progress. If I get to the end of the game, great. If I die halfway through, that's it. But I'm only going to play until the game erases itself. Um, so far, considering I died three times on um, in this one, in the, just the second video, um, it's probably going to be sooner rather than later. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's at my elbow. It's at my elbow. Um, I mean, it, it, I assume it, it goes up very slowly. You know, they're going to give you more than just, you know, five or six deaths. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a game that, when, you, when you're reading that, it, it reveals that in the first episode towards the end. Um, and I was like, you can hear the surprise in my voice. Because I had done no re- research on this game uh, going into it. I was shocked. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm fucked. I'm terrible at video games. Um, they... So the thing I know about this developer is they did a game that I actually liked, but I need to replay because it's been a few years called Heavenly Sword. And they did that. They did that. Yeah. Same developer. Isn't that the God of War ripoff? Oh, they did that one, too. Yeah, I need to replay that as well. Um, Yeah, they're like they like they don't they don't I wouldn't say they get their games don't get a lot of mainstream. But, like, when they do make a game, it's really good. And I'm not really surprised that they have a mechanic like that. And I don't see a problem with that mechanic unless it's not super forgiving. Like, it only gives you three lives. <laughs> and you're just like, you're fucked. Yeah. Um, yeah he- Heavenly Sword, that was the one that everyone was like, oh, this was God of War, but female. Yeah. And then it, and then, and then it ended on a, um, a cliffhanger. Well, it wasn't really a cliffhanger. Basically, she died. <laughs> their character died at the end. Um, I would say spoiler. What? I would say spoiler warning. But this game is is pushing ten years old. Like, come on. So you do. Um, yeah, you die at the end, and it's just. It seems like they were setting up for a second one, and that never happened. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that. I... Yeah. Yeah. True. They kind of it kind of ended open ended too though, didn't it? Well, yeah, Enslave did. didn't. Enslave, it's pretty easy to like have an have an ending to the story. It's already been written. It's called yeah, Journey true. to the West. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's the big game I've been playing. Uh, what about the rest of you? Who wants to go first? Squeaky, you've been quiet. 
Because I have nothing to say about that game. So I'm just being <laughs> polite and just letting y'all talk about it because y'all know everything about it. Well, you don't need least... to know you don't need to know about something and have an opinion about it. Just look at our <laughs> presidency. Moving on. Um, oh, gosh. Um, well, the game that I've been playing, I haven't really been having a lot of time, but um, the game I've been playing is a game that came out about two weeks ago. It's called Metopia. And it came out on the 3DS. It's oh, like, yeah, it, it's like the Tomodachi Life, only it's an RPG. And it actually has a story that plays out. And it's it's been pretty fun. I've, I've really been enjoying it. Um, I think I, the I'm Game Grumps playing this right now? A lot of different people are playing it. I don't know if the Game Grumps are. I know Space Hamster is playing it from, who's like friends with um, Peanut Butter Gamer. But, okay. um yeah, uh, it's it's a very fun game. Um, the the if you're looking for a game that like it, it's not like the RPG that you would think of, like oh, I'm gonna be able to like get this character and travel all over the world and upgrade him and be able to do all these cool things. It's very very limited. It's more of like a story that you watch rather than play, and you're just kind of it's kind of visual novel RPG, kind of. Um, you are still, like, choosing, oh, I'm going to go over, like, you choose your map, you go um, through the map, and you have to choose the places you go, and then your characters go through the map, you fight some monsters, you get to the end, and you go to the inn, and you go to sleep, then you go and choose another place. So it's pretty limited about how much you do during the battle, even. You're very limited because you have your character, and you only get to con control your character. You get, like, nine other friends who can be able to help you in battle, and you can have four people in your party at a time. So you're watching your three other friends like battle, and you're there trying to do your moves, but again, it's very limited about how much you can do. Mm -hmm. um, so for that aspect, it's, I say RPG, people are like, oh, RPG, not that kind of RPG. It's not an exciting okay. one. It's, it feels more like Undertale, Okay. In the kind of sense of like, oh, you're going somewhere and you're kind of seeing how characters interact, but it's like more animu kind of stuff. Like you're going to see like a lot of fun little kind of cutesy things happening. And the real main mechanic of it is that it's a me. It's the me's from Nintendo that are in the game. So yeah. you get to choose all the characters in the world but through the Me Central um, hub, or you can choose characters you've made or in your previous file of Tomodachi Life. So like lots of fun things. And the main thing I really like is like getting your character and then you give them a job. And I like seeing like <laughs> them as that character. Like I have Raven who's a vampire. And so she, like Raven from, um, gosh, Teen Titans. And she's like hovering like a vampire is like, yes. <laughs> And you can, like, give them certain slangs and things to say. Like, when they do an awesome move, she says, Azrath Metrigon Synthos, whenever she does, like, an awesome move. <laughs> Stuff like that. And they have, like, Azula from um, from uh, Avatar. Last Airbender. Last Airbender. Yeah. Yeah. Airbender. Yeah. And I made her a princess. <laughs> <laughs> I made her a frou-frou princess. And she's like, ha-ha, take that. I'm going to get the Avatar. <laughs> just, <laughs> just so cute. All right, guys. Uh, I'm really sorry. What? I just realized that my mic was not being picked up by OBS this entire time, and I just turned That's it on right now. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing for you. I know. I know. Well, so yeah. midway th the first like quarter of this podcast is gonna be they're gonna people are gonna see me speaking, but now people can and hear me. They're not gonna know. They're, oh, they're not gonna know. My sass. They're not gonna know. My sass. Your the sass, sass was temporarily lost. taken away. I'm yes. so sorry. Yes. You know. <laughs> I would. I, the sass is one thing, but also like we're responding and they can't hear what I said. What? And here I was. I was about to say, "Hey, this is a GK episode without technical difficulties so far." Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> Always a problem. Um. So I, I, I've watched a little bit. I think it was the Game Grumps playing. I, I think it was the Game Grumps ch channel, but it wasn't them. It was like Commander Holly and some other people. Um. But uh, isn't it, and spoilers for a the first five minutes of a me RPG, 
Uh, mm-hmm. Isn't it the one where like all the characters are having their faces stolen and yes. mon- monsters? And, okay. and it tells you that like the first minute, so it's not a spoiler. Okay? Yeah, it's like it's why those me monsters? spoiled. I mean, God. Yeah. The main thing is that okay, so, yeah, I'm not gonna spoil the game because there are some really good spoilers in this. Like it's like it's like playing back, Final Fantasy but... X and being like, by the way, there's a giant monster named Sin attacking everything. <laughs> like, wow, spoilers for the no. first twenty minutes. Yeah. So the character, um, so there's a person, a dark lord, who's stealing people's faces, and he's putting them on monsters. So you have to defeat the it's monsters hilarious. to save the people's faces. And it's sometimes very hilarious because you can see. Like, do, does the, he skin the per- people's face off their skull, or no? no it's, a big, it's just, just like, a pop. Pop. It's a kid's it's, just a it's pop. A, it's a kid's game. But uh, <laughs> there's, okay, there's okay. Like a stick okay. It's Is like it, a no like, like, from their ears up. Or, like, what defines their face? The things that you put on a me are the eyes, the nose, the eyebrows, the um, mouth, and then any other, like, little accessories, like maybe glasses or something. Because this, game, sometimes, this like, game could turn two. really dark really quick. <laughs> it's just a blank canvas. It looks like, um, you know those, oh gosh, it I just know, looks like me's. a mannequin. I know me's. It just looks like a very simple mannequin. Okay. It's, it's actually kind of sad because they like are like, oh, but they can't say anything. They're just like shaking and they have their <laughs> clothes and then their, their hair. And they're just like, oh, and they can't say things. So it's actually kind of cute. Um, but it's very funny because then you put the face on a monster and sometimes the face like is very cutesy. And then you have this really horrific monster. It's like, this doesn't fit, but it's awesome. I love it. Here's a giant spider demon with a cute little kid's me face on it. And that's the charm of it, that you get to choose all these characters that you don't expect to be on these people. So, like, you can choose the Dark Lord. And this is, like, at the very beginning. You choose the Dark Lord within five minutes of the game. So this is not a spoiler. Many people have done different things. My person that I chose is Steve Urkel. Ah. Steve Urkel is the Dark Lord, and he, he's stealing everybody's faces because he's like, I don't like how everybody's laughing at my face, so I'm going to steal all yours. You know what that actually remind, reminds me of? So you mentioned Last Airbender, and now we're talking about face stealers. There's a character in The Last Airbender that yes. steals faces. Yep. I totally forgot about that villain until right now. That was Wait, a very there creepy. is? Oh. Yeah, it, uh, Ko. Yeah. If he you look at him creepy. with emotion, he steals your face and your soul. He yeah, ended up stealing one of the Avatar's lovers' face. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, he, he I don't catches, remember that at all. Oh, it, was one, it was one episode, but it was a very bad episode. I, I, need to re, I need to rewatch it anyway. He's, he's a main villain in one episode, and then he pops up again, but he's not important. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, he's, yeah the, the, he's creepy, though. He's creepy as fuck. Yeah, he is. He is. And it was just like, it was one of those episodes of The Last Airbender where they, they kind of really, really towed the line between this is a show for kids and this is this is a show for much older teens. Yeah. And now it's no, dark. Adults. Adults. It went kids to adults. Like, oh, just like yeah. That. I mean, look at look at Korra. Korra oh, went that God. way, too, a lot of times. Korra's oh, meant for adults. It's not meant for kids at all. That's why Nickelodeon it's took it off. It's meant for the... It's meant for the kids that People. grew up on Avatar. Yeah, like that's yeah. why Nickelodeon took it off like their their network and put it on the website instead. Well, they did, they did that yeah. for many reasons, which yeah. we could do a podcast about. But the yeah. Nick's mishandling of that. But Speaking you know, of which what uh, I have it. Oh, dang. The new comic, so it's still continuing. Huh. Which is which is Even exactly. Though- Right, so it's continuing the story? It. Yeah. Nickelodeon owns it. So lesbian waifus confirmed. I have not read it yet. Okay. But yeah. But yes, If it the is. internet but has yes. told me anything, yes. Yes. It, it should be fact. confirmed. It should be confirmed, yes. It, it is confirmed after the last episode? Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's confirmed in here. I'm saying it should be confirmed. John, oh. wild card. They were just looking at each other with loving friendship in their eyes. And holding hands in a Are you really going to tell me that with a straight face? <laughs> no. Anywho. I've seen that literally marry, mirrored a marriage scene from earlier season. Yeah. So, so I've like, already beaten this game 
and it's been pretty good. The one thing that I really have loved about this is that even though you beat the game, you can continue it. They hmm, gave good. it to where at the beginning you can only have like 10 characters, and then now they're letting you have up to 50 characters. I'm just like, oh my goodness, the potential. The potential for all the, the different characters I can real. make. Like, I was thinking about doing, like, Ruby characters next. Okay. Wait, so nice. can, can you can you go into battle with all 50, or can you only go into battle with, like, four? four? people at a time. Okay, because I'm thinking a 50-person battle, your DS might actually explode. I don't <laughs> think it could handle that. Um, it doesn't matter how, like, low render. No. Yes, no, Kuma? People. So, again, watching... The, the last time I was wa watching, maybe these people were just incompetent, but can do like if a character is a mage do you actually have a ma magic attack or do they just smack people with a staff because when i was watching people play it was like wizard character attack and she was just hitting people with a stick well they probably didn't level up yet and get their ability to be able to do mage attacks yet and... so you do have so, to level yes, up they, they and were, get they certain were incompetent attacks. Yes, they were <laughs> whacking with their stick. Yes. And in fact, that's even something that I they do I am a wizard. Often. This is my beat stick. <laughs> so they, so they, 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 were, they, were, they were mages who were still reading the books on how to do magic. So they exactly. were like, yeah, This is my magic book. Die of magic. This is my magic stick. Whack. So like any other like RPG, you don't have like your attacks until you level up to a certain level. You have your HP, your MP, so like your magic and your health. Oh, can it be like Star you Ocean? Like those. you can kill enemies through draining their MP? Ooh, that'd be cool. You cannot kill an enemy through their MP. No, you have to kill them through HP. <clears throat> okay. I always loved that in Star Ocean. You can't do magic. So that'd be dead. cool. That would be cool. Or, but or it's also an attack, like... a regular attack does not require MP. That's why sometimes a character would do a regular attack, like smack you with my stick. That was like, when I mean, you guys were talking about MP draining, all I could think of was there's a few Final Fantasy bosses that can be killed with Phoenix Downs, and I'm like, I don't think that's how they're supposed to be killed, but because they're <laughs> oh, technically undead, they're totally, you can Phoenix down them. They're totally <laughs> meant to be killed like that. In fact, there's a whole boss that does that. Yeah, hmm. Ghost Train. Well, no. Um, when you, you fight, kill Ghost Train with okay. Now. Spoilers for I think a fifteen-year-old game. How yeah, old is Fi Final Fantasy Ten? When you fight Seymour uh, for yeah, the 15. third time, you, oh, you I fight didn't even it. Do the you, Seymour. Yeah, you, you fight Seymour for the third time. He's like this weird giant monster thing, and you fight him on the side of the cliff. He casts Undeath on you, and then full revive. That's his yep. whole tactic: is cast yeah. Undeath, full revive. And oh no! I thought I thought you were gonna say you could do that to him, and I was like, I didn't think you, you could do that to him. You have to grind and put zombie resist gear on your yep. on your character. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah, I, exactly. I just had uh, the a whole lot of uh, like purifies or something like that, and I remember like he was he was immune to everything but poison, and poison did double damage to him. Mm-hmm. Well, they they also the final boss in uh, <clears throat> ten. The, the actual final boss, not the one that people consider the final boss, the little speary guy. I can't think of his name. You Yevon. You, you Yevon. Thank you. And uh, he can actually, you can actually manipulate the battle and kill him with Phoenix Downs, or you can have his pagodas kill him by healing him because he's not immune <laughs> to zombie. Um, yeah. it, it's just, it, it, that's just what the MP draining reminds me of, except that's actually breaking the Final Fantasy game well, by that, doing that. There's one boss in the game that you can one shot with Seymour's technique it's the zombie dragon underneath um yep. i forget the name of the holy city but Be bevel under bevel you fight the zombie dragon it's the same sky dragon that you fight when you're flying to bevel uh if you hit it with a phoenix down it's a one -shot i kill. hated that dragon every dude i, I yeah. hated that dragon that's one of those bo bosses where back back in the day you know, when you're playing a video game, if you can't beat a video game, oh well. Yeah. Um, I that almost beat that, almost broke that game for me because I could not beat him. And at that point in the game, if you save, you can't go back and grind. You can. You can go back on the ship. There's monsters. There's random encounters on the ship if you go around. I gr yeah, I grinded in that ship for hours, to like or no weeks to beat that boss. 
And then as soon as I beat that boss, I steam piled over the rest of the game. <laughs> oh yeah. Final Fantasy X is definitely one of those games where like you can play, you can play, you can play, and then you'll hit a boss that you're like, oh, I've been steamrolling everything. This guy assumes I've been grinding a lot more than I have. Mm. Like the um the sin spawn when you do the joint um Al bed uh fight, like the sin spawn on the beach. Mm -hmm. Oh, that um, guy. That one actually I had to restart my game. Because as a little 11, 12-year-old, I didn't understand the, the sphere grid. So I hadn't been using it. Oh, God. Um, like, I've done some stuff with, with it, just kind of messing with it. But I didn't really understand what it was doing um, that, like, all that well. So I got, I got to that point, And because I hadn't been grinding ability spheres, I didn't have, like, character abilities that I should have had at that point. Mm -hmm. I literally just I, I had to restart the game. There was nothing I could do. Hmm. You couldn't use your spirit grid. Um, I couldn't use. Or, the... or were you were you locked into a cutscene? Um, the area that I was kind of like, because where where you save right there, you can't go back. It's like, oh, you got to go forward. I have the HD collection. I really should play that because it has been at least ten years since I played this game. Because I'm yeah. having a hard time call recalling what you're talking about. Yeah. And I know I've... I beat the game. I've got the. Uh... I've got it. I bought it for the PS3. I bought the PS3 version. Yeah. Um, and I no, don't think I have my PS3 anymore. I've got my PS4. Um, and of so... course, PS4 is not backwards compatible at all. Nope. Oh. Uh, Bookworm, what have, you, what have you been playing? I was actually making a list while you guys were talking because I'm playing uh -huh. a few things because... Um... So, I don't know if it's because I have ADD, but I can't play a, one game straight through. So Neither can I'm playing, I. I'm playing a bunch of games at one time. No, I'll beat them eventually, but I just can't play one game only. So currently I'm playing Overwatch because they're doing an event right now. But mm -hmm. as soon as that's that event's done, the I'll probably take games. a break from it. I want those skins, man. Me that's too. all I want. I, 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 want, the, one. I want the Mercy one. Ugh. I want the Mer Ugh, Mercy one because I had enough gold. I want the Mercy one, and I want the freaking McCree one where he's a tan lifeguard. I have the, I have the McCree one. I'm jealous. Dude, I want I want the Dad 76. I also want the Dad 76. <laughs> um, I love. Have, have you heard his voice lines? Uh uh. Yeah, I have. When you I drop his got... when you drop his he healing thing, it's like anybody want a refreshing beverage? <laughs> it's really... Um, and that's pretty much the like the one multiplayer game I'm playing that has no story. Um, on my DS, I'm playing Bravely Default, which oh, is a ooh. long game. Very long and I, game. I do <sighs> like it, but yeah, I've been playing it for a while. I'm just like, oh god, this is never ending. On uh, my Switch, I'm playing Breath of the Wild, which again, a really long yeah. game that's going to take me fucking I'm playing it too, and I'm 100%ing it right now. Yeah, I'm 100%ing it as well. I'm so, not yeah, going to 100% it. You suck. Why? Then, uh, <laughs> I have also, so many games I need to get through. I can't 100% games because I I have, I, I, I have to move on. I, I, I will take the time to 100% Zelda. I will. Same. I will 100% Zelda. There are games I won't 100%, but that's one of them. Um, as far as like indie games go, I'm playing Stardew Valley, which is oh, like that's it's a basic, nice one. It's basically Harvest Moon. It's a bit mm -hmm. relaxing. Yeah. I'm also I'm also getting ready to play Papers Please. Oh, that's such a um, good game. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't played it yet. Um, but I don't know. Like this, I didn't realize there was a story in it, and there kind of is. Oh, and I'm like, ah, yes. crap, I gotta play it. Yeah. Um, yes. Speaking of papers, please. Uh, I remember when I picked that up and started playing it. I was working at, in a toll booth, so I'd uh, work eight hours in a toll booth, come home, play a game about working in a toll booth. In <laughs> <laughs> a dystopic dictator ship yeah. country, Rush, uh, Russia esque also, company or country. I'm also. I'm also still playing Mass Effect Andromeda because I, it just, it's been a terrible summer. I've been working like crazy, so I can't get through anything. Uh, so I've, I've been playing Mass Effect Andromeda since May. This is so bad. I haven't beat it yet. Uh, and then like for my old games, because I play some really old games, I'm going through Half-Life 1 for the first time, which I'm not one of those people who judges games by graphics, but there's a few things I'm just like, oh my God. We've gone so far. Yeah, coming back is weird. There's a also... uh, there's a fan remake of Half Life One out there. Yeah, Black Mesa. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah. And um, 
and also I'm playing Vagrant Story, which is on the PlayStation Network, and it's a uh, it's like a Final Fantasy RPG type game, but it's from the PS1 era, so you, you can guess what I'm dealing with graphics wise. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that one of the free ones? No. no, they actually have really good free ones this month. They, tell me, what are the free me. ones? Now, you tell me. This uh, is Just Cause Three. Ooh, Just that's... Cause Three is free. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the. Oh, the other one is the uh, Assassin's Creed 4 DLC. Oh, shit. They actually got good ones. Um, But yeah, so that's what I'm playing. I'm playing all those games sort of at once. Because I... I, And the funny thing is, is that I don't know if it's because I've lived with ADD so long. I remember exactly where I left off. So I don't have that problem of going into a game and I'm being like, what the fuck was I doing? But it, it is funny when you go into a game with a completely different control scheme. So I'll do that for every once in a while. I'll start using controls from some of the other games I'm playing, and then I'll be like, oh, shit, that does nothing, and then die. Speaking of games with completely different uh, control schemes, it's my turn. Go ahead. I've been, uh, let's see, I finished Horizon Zero Dawn. Nice. Um, uh, uh, tell me how you like that when you're ready. It's good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it had a better, much better story than what I was expecting. That was actually the whole point of me keep to keep going and finish it was the story which was surprising in an open world game mm-hmm. um i'm in the middle of bloodborne which i don't know if i'm gonna finish or not but not not really feeling it well i'm mm, i don't know it's one of those i need to take a break from like That's squeaky right. squeaky i know your brother's a big fan of the series but i don't know how far into bloodborne i'm gonna get i think I think that game with like all the other Souls games is it's one of those games that you either really love it and you'll go through it at once or you tolerate it and you're you just keep coming back to it because you get frustrated. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anybody in between. I think it's that either either or. Yeah. And then you have people who won't even touch the stuff. Like oh, I've, yeah. I've gotten halfway through Dark Souls like without a without that big of a deal and like I'm probably a quarter of the way through Bloodborne. Like, just how difficult Bloodborne was. Like, I wasn't expecting that at all. Like, I don't know. I thought someone who played Dark Souls before would have a better grasp on the controls and how to play and all that, but no. Well, the the weird thing with between the Dark, the Souls games and Blood, Bloodborne, Souls expects you to be a very careful f- player. They want you to observe the monsters. They want you to attack when, when you're able, defend when you have to. You know, it's very methodical. Bloodborne is, you get health back when you attack. Get in there, bitch. Nope. If you do that, you're going to die. Yeah. Every, every also, person I've seen, it looks like it favors aggression. You have, you do have a window after you're hit. You have a small window to get your health back. After that, no. Um, let's see. I'm also playing through Breath of the Wild. But it's like I've already seen my roommate play through the whole game. So it's like I I know how to play, like I haven't even gotten to the I haven't done any of the sacred beasts yet, and I have a full set of armor and a fiery great sword. Yeah. <laughs> um. Doesn't see. know what that means. Oh. Well, that's fine. But we know what that means, yeah. right? We all know. What is and we know what that what that sword is, and how you're going to feel about that sword. <laughs> what sword? A fiery great the sword. Fire- he got his first fiery great sword. Oh, like, Jesus Christ. Like, su- super so, early in the game. So he's going to know what, what's going to happen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stephanie, yeah. I both know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just... I, I, I actually haven't gotten so far into the story, but I've done a bunch of side missions. So I've got a lot of high-level fucking weapons. Oh. And it's like I've got a whole lot of weapons, and I haven't even beaten the second boss. And it's just like, it's like, please do this thing for me. And I've got all this, like, this whole back full of like uh the uh guardian weapons and i'm like oh sure this is super easy yeah <laughs> i beat the game twice <laughs> <laughs> i mean beat like technically how they call beat the story yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's like skyrim you, you don't actually beat the game and then i'm i'm 100 percenting right now i'm almost yeah. there i think i'm 69 percent Giggity. I yeah. might have gotten to 70, finally. And then, yeah, I, I'm playing Overwatch I, I, every day. Overwatch. Same. I like, when uh, Summer Games came out, I got 60 of the loot boxes. 
Jesus. through World of Warcraft Gold. Oh, shit. Yeah, I, I hate this kid. He doesn't buy his games anymore. He golds them. <laughs> I did the same thing with the Hearthstone expansion. I pre-ordered the Hearthstone expansion with World of Warcraft Gold. He bought oh Destiny God. 2 with WoW Gold. Yep. Only because it's through the Blizzard online service. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't, he would have to use real money. Yep. Rewards you for playing. And that's why I'm still playing WoW. And that's why I still stream WoW Tuesday, Thursday. Seven, Which is really funny. So seven to got, ten. He's gotten De Destiny 2, uh, a Hearthstone expansion, uh, a bunch of uh, the boxes. You've spent... God, what, 60... How, how much is the Hearthstone expansion? It was forty nine ninety nine, fifty dollars So, 50, 110 60 boxes is what? 50 bucks? Around there, yeah. You've got the $160 worth of content for a $15 a month subscription to a game you, play, you just play a lot. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I yeah. don't think they understand exactly what their business model does. Be, well, no, they do. Those WoW tokens come from somewhere. That's true. People are putting those WoW tokens into the game and spending money. So, so, so you are correct. Yeah. They're, make, they're making money from it. Yeah. Still, holy shit. I, um, I can't even brag for that because the most I've won for free money for games was for tournaments, and the most I won for that was 120 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Total of all the tournaments that I've won. I mean... I can't say anything because I've bought in some, uh, some, 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 <laughs> I want to call them loot crates, but I know that's not what they're called. I forgot what they're called. Loot boxes. Uh, yeah. There we go. I bought a few of them. Not, not a ridiculous amount. I didn't drop a hundred, but I, I dropped a 20. Mm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can't, I can't judge. Um. You guys did, did remind, remind me of some of the other games I've been playing. I've also been playing Overwatch. I played um, Lucio Ball a bunch just to get, like, the... Is um, anybody the good at Lucio Ball? Put me... Dude, put me in the goal, coach. Nothing getting past. I'm terrible at it. I've I'm, made I'm some really good at goals. it. I've made some great blocks. I love Lu Lu Lucio I... Ball. The only problem is there's no incentive to play right now because I've gotten most of the sprays and I've maxed out my... Uh, my arcade Does that mean you're going to uh, going into Lucio Ball competitive? No, God, I no. haven't ranked anything. I just Why like not? playing random games with people. I'll give it a try. I'll, I get. I'll give it a try, but um, I I have fun with Lu Lu Lucio Ball. I don't want to dive in with people who take it a little too seriously. Mm -hmm. um, as right now, I'm just like this is just a fun arcade alter alternative. Um, I've also been playing. I was. I wanted to make. A let's at least one video if not a stream in that game we talked i talked talked about a while ago uh reyes okay uh, reyes. Oh, yeah. i was where you know you control like these four gods or these four spirits or titans or giants they're called in the game um each one represents a different terrain type uh you can you have to like raise up uh settlements and support set settlements that settle on the terrain it's a really interesting little game, but it kept crashing on me. Like, I would get almost at the end of a play period. A play period is half an hour before your giants um, go into hibernation. Um, and it just kept cra crashing. Motherfucker. So I uninstalled that, and I reinstalled um, Dungeon Defenders, which is an uh -huh. older game. If no one's ever heard of it, it's basically tower defense 3D with a hero. Um and I've gotten to the very last level in terms of the main campaign, and that's impressive. I haven't I haven't gotten past the second level. Halfway through, you start having to defend two crystals. Uh, the second to last level, uh, n normally it's like, okay, here's my choke points. I put my defenses at these choke points. I can concentrate the most firepower at the most amount of enemies. Uh, with it with like the least amount of towers so i'm not spending a ton of of mana each because you only get a certain amount of mana each round mm -hmm. you get mana from the enemies you killed in the previous round and from chests that spawn at the end of every, at the end of each round um but you only get a certain amount so you're like okay which ones am i going to upgrade which ones am i going to build where am i going to place them so i get maximum co coverage 
The second to last round, uh, one of your cr crystals has a choke point. The other one, completely out in the open. Of course. So you're like, okay, I have to maximize firepower at these angles. I can put walls here because that'll funnel them around. It's it's nuts. This la last round, you have three to worry about. I'm like, okay, fuck this. I'm not, I'm not dealing with three. Um, which is why I challenge these three uh, to pick, pick up the game, get their character to at least level 20, which you can do playing about an hour, hour and a half a day uh, for about a week. Because um, you're going to need that much mana. You're going to need gear that you've upgraded. And by gear that you've upgraded, I mean just pouring excess mana into your weapons. Because um, I'm going to need some help. <laughs> okay. Not gonna, uh, <laughs> no promises. No, I think promises. I might have. So, so I don't I, need you guys to be tactical. I need more firepower. Yeah. So I, I've been working like crazy, but we're getting to a point where I might actually have some downtime. Cross our fingers and hope. So, and I think I did buy it when it was on sale recently. I have to check because I it's can't check my. No, I'm I know, saying. but I think I bought it already, and I can't check my Steam account on my work computer, which is what I've been using because I've been working a lot. So I'll have to actually turn on my non-work computer and check, but I think I actually have it, so I might come in and play. Just make sure it's D D Dungeon Defenders 1, because there is Dungeon Defenders 2. Uh, I, would, I don't know. I think I think I got it on sale, but I think I got the first one. It's $15. If, I could probably drop that as well. <laughs> uh, the if funny I thing is, if you buy... So if you buy Dungeon Defenders... Yeah, buy Dungeon Defenders... Um, there's a there's a ton of DLC for the games, but uh, I you once you hit level 25, you get um, access to a bunch of extras it gives you. Uh, if you play the Huntress, you can use the portal gun as your weapon. I have I have the um, portal gun and I have a bunch of TF2 stuff. Yeah, I have a bunch of the <laughs> TF2 ca characters as pets. Oh, that's what they are. They're pets. Yeah, yeah, they're pets. Okay. They're pets. Um, yeah, so they like that's... give you extra D extra DPS. That's um, beautiful. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be a challenge. What else was I playing? Got that Dungeon Defenders. All right. I, got that. I, got, I think that's mostly what I've been playing. Any final thoughts before we wrap this up? Um, keep an eye out for our channel. We've got stuff planned. We've got Extra Life coming up in October. Uh, we're already planning some stuff that we're going to do for that. Probably going to be – I would love to have a huge network-wide – like uh, trivia murder party or something like that. <laughs> I'm I'm joining in from that one. Although I might get banned from a few games because I'm pretty good at that game. Uh, that we I'd love to get a big group going for uh, Friday the Thirteenth or Dead by Daylight. I'd, uh, I'd be really says, cool with that. Yeah. yeah. Spooky says she would play. Um, what is it? Evil Within. Evil Within Two. Yeah, if it comes out when. Uh, where we're going to do it because it's like in the middle of October. Right. It comes out uh, Friday the 13th. Yep. Oh. So depending on when we do it, because I know we're not going to do it game day because there's no point in competing with everyone that's going to be streaming that, that day. Um, no one's going to be watching us. No one's going to be donating. So we might do it earlier in the month. But um, all I know is I'm super excited because I can participate this year because last year you guys did it. I was on a, a work trip. Yeah. And it's moved to September this year, so yay! Woo. Um, so yeah, look out for that. And then I think, I mean, I know I need to start talking to developers, but I'm pro I'm going to start planning stuff for in December again th this year. So Ooh. nice. It's going to be fun. Ah. Um, <laughs> other than that, yeah, I, I might start streaming again if I'm Get up if I get the urge to turn my PS4 on again. <laughs> You're so mad at. <laughs> I haven't turned my PS4 on in months. I've still got Final Fantasy 15 and Tales of Berseria that are unfinished. I uh, feel you. Like I mean, I mean, like I said, it, it's just I've just been so busy that I literally have been playing Mass Effect Andromeda, and I got through Mass Effect 2, which I only played for the first time like five years ago. So I was still in college. I uh, went through that game in a weekend. In this one, it's taken me three months. I have Andromeda. I, I haven't installed, or no, I do have Andromeda installed. I've, I've, I've not played it. Yeah, it Did I ever tell you that I bought Dragon Age Inquisition and was never able to play it? I have, 
<laughs> you, you, you're talking about half my game library. I, I, I bought it so on GOG. Bad. I bought it on GOG, and for whatever reason, it couldn't run on my framework. It was like, oh, oh. you need like a dot sixty four, and I'm like, I oh, do. Oh yeah, you probably you do have a. N never mind. That's. Well, let's talk about that off call. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, it was like you can't play it, so I dropped sixty dollars, and I'm just like, fine, I'll get a re refund. Never was able to get a refund. Mm. <laughs> I talked to GOG I, and I talked to the devel the developers and they're like, no, sorry, it's the other guy's problem. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you guys. Uh, but yeah, that's it for me. Speaking, yeah, all right, ending thanks. on ending on the fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll do the outro really quick. So hopefully you haven't ended it. Thank you everybody for tuning in. For all your gamer culture needs, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch TV, and thegrandgeekgathering.com. This show has been brought to you by the Grand Geek Gathering Network. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, review us. And a special thanks to the band Alex and Alex for granting us permission for the use of their song, Glam Jam. Join the gathering, stay cultured, have a great week, and GGG! G -G 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 -G